All right, here we are. We are going to get started and talk about hustle versus hard work. <laughs> right? Who here? Give me a little thumbs up on if you feel like you're hustling or if you're hard, if you're hustling, give me a thumbs down. If you're hard work, give me a thumbs up. Um, because these two can look a lot alike, but what the difference is, is the state of being behind both, right? So your energy, um, your energy is what's really kind of like behind it, right? So hustle is actually like the state of mind, less activity. It's kind of like how you approach your work. Okay, so let's talk about a hustle first on um, because it's almost like let's talk about that because you might say to yourself, no, 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 I'm, I'm hard work, I'm hard work, but maybe you are a little bit of hustle or maybe you're full hustle and not so much hard work, right? So um, some thoughts that you have when you are in hustle, you use a lot of words like I should I have to, I need to, I need this paycheck, I need this bonus. If I don't get this, I might quit. I'm going to work really hard and then take a break later. <laughs> I want you to notice those words, okay? So those are like high stake words, right? Um, and they take a lot of energy, right? And what happens is, is it creates like major feelings. And we're going to get into that. All right. But what puts you into hustle is scarcity. It's kind of like the rocket fuel for hustle is scarcity. Um, and it could be like around your audience, right? There isn't like enough or um, you're afraid there isn't like plenty to go around. I hear that kind of like all the time, right? Oh, the, the market is saturated. <laughs> like, okay, there's 7 billion people on the universe and there's plenty to go around. And that one person or two people or five people that you were talking to that also know about the product or maybe even joined your team, they're not unicorns, okay? Like there are other people out there. <laughs> so that's like one of like the big things that I hear going around is, you know, it's saturated. Um, maybe it's like, it's, around time. You're feeling like you need to jump into the momentum train. Um, and you don't, because you like, if you don't do it now, it's going to be gone forever. Right. So you start to feel like anxiety. And the thing is, is that when you're thinking that your success is going to come from like some outside source and not within, we've got a problem, right? <laughs> so you're thinking that Success is going to come um, without your own ability and control. And friends, that's so not true, all right? You're going to create your own success. Did you hear that? You are going to create your own success with hard work, not hustle, all right? So scarcity um, starts to come in. It can come in around money and your paycheck, right? And I know people need money and they need jobs, right? But if that's your driving desire is I need, I need, I need, you need to stop because you need to seek the needs of others first, right? What kind of value can you give to either your customers or your team, right? Because that's going to come back to you tenfold. All right. Um, emotional needs. Okay. You know, you need the praise, you need the rank, you need to be noticed. You want people to say good job. You need the acknowledgement and friend. Listen to me. You don't need that. All right. When you place self worth on like walking across the stage or, you know, I need to be a certain rank what happens is, is that when you lose that rank, like your team starts to fall apart, right? And you haven't had recognition in a while 
And that scarcity starts to come in and you operate from like a temporary motivational high feeling and it's an external or an exterior motivator, right? It's not coming from within. And that's where it needs to come from. So, you know, the actions from like a, like a hustler, I'm going to call it, okay? Think about it. Like when you're hustling, like as I even say the word hustling, I start to like have you breathe, right? Like your speech gets hurried, you get aggressive. Um, you start talking to your team that way. You start talking about the opportunity that way and things get really yucky and you use that type of energy, that hype, that high energy, but you're not using it like from your heart, right? So what you want to do is to have like a higher energy, but like at a level where it's not like a roller coaster ride, right? Um, a lot of people in hustle, right? They, they, you know, don't take their time, their time management and really say to themselves, like, this is my time. Like, I'm going to give myself work hours. How many here do you have work hours? <laughs> because like the, the reason why we all started these type of jobs was to maybe have like, not all everyone, but you know, a lot of it is like time freedom, right? But yet when you're in hustle mode, you're working, you feel like you're working 24 seven, five minutes here, 15 minutes here. And you know, it's, it's fine if you're doing this as like a hobby, but if you're trying to do this like as a job, your brain is going to be everywhere, right? It's trying to hold on to so many things and it can't multitask, right? There's no such thing as multitasking, all right? There's just not. It takes your brain so much longer to switch from one activity to the next. So what I like to do is increments of time, knowing how long each task should take me, or if it's a task that's going to be forever long, I chop it up 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there, right? But I respect my time. You have to respect that. Because when you're doing it, and you're only doing a chunk, a chunk, a chunk, you're missing the productivity because you never really get into the flow of things. Sometimes I have a really hard time if I'm in the middle of a task, and I'll just get up walk away because it's like pressure, pressure, pressure. But if I stop and sit into it and say, I got this, I can finish this task. And as soon as I finish this task, I'm going to, you know, get up and have a break. Right. What we don't want is when exhaustion takes over because your brain is working all day long. Right. You need to have those work hours so that you can say to yourself, these are the chunks of time that I'm work, but also you need to have chunks of time where you reflect, evaluate what you're doing. What does the future of your business look like, right? Do you know where you want to be in the next three months from now, where you personally want to be? Do you know where you want your team to be? right? Projections and figuring out how can we get to that, you know, either that next level. Okay. So that's a little bit about hustle, right? I even talking about it goes, ugh, right. <laughs> but what about hard work? It's also a state of mind, but the difference between hustle and hard work is hard work is committed to the process rather than the result or the outcome. Putting in the daily work with consistency and focus within the daily actions, right? So instead of saying, I need to reach this next rank, a hard work person would say, you know, with consistency, I will reach that rank, but what are the things that I need to do on the daily to get there. And that is success, right? I finished those daily tasks that will move my business forward. 
and I stopped when my time was up, right? Very little flux in energy, right? When you're in hard work. And I don't mean like, don't have a, like a high vibe energy level, right? What I mean is, you know, not having the roller coaster ride where like it's push, 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 exhaust. I can't do anymore. I'm done. It's coming into your business and working from a place of I've got this and I mean, these are the things that I need to do for the day. And these are the things that need to get done, right? You're looking to take ownership for all the daily actions within your business. So take complete ownership of all your successes and your failures, right? So when you are responsible and take that full ownership, it helps you become a critical thinker that makes you make changes in your business to improve it, right? So I do this a lot because there's things where I'll say, I am going to try this and I give it time, like six months, right? I'm going to try this for six months to see if it works. And if it starts to work and I see the momentum going, I know I'm going to keep it going, right? But you have to give it that time, time to reflect on are things working or are not things working, but not jumping without implementing the things first, right? So critical thinking it can't really happen in a place of high emotion, right? Whether it be high or probably really low. So think about that, right? Success is coming, right? <laughs> From purpose and service. So help others get what they want. And when that happens, you actually get what you want, especially if it's like team related. So don't think about yourself so much of like your results, right? Like what I want you to do is think about how you can serve your customers or serve your team. And once you start to really do that, like success is going to come in, right? So are you committed to being calm, consistent, confident, focused, disciplined, excited, and energized to do the daily tasks? Because once you start to do the daily tasks, the momentum will start to come, but like the success is going to feel really, really good, right? You're not going to feel exhausted by the time that you reach that next goal. So a piece of advice, set some work hours or set a timer, <laughs> do both daily habits and rhythms, like, you know, in place, right? So what are your daily habits? What are your money-making activities that should be done on the daily you know, set attainable goals, right? Reasonable goals that can fit into the structure of your business, right? Like have the vision, implement it and improve on what's going on. So, and be like super highly, highly committed to the process. So tap into the systems of your business. What is it? What are the systems that you should be doing on the regular and consistently does it work into your family life at this moment in time? Reflect on that and realize what needs to change, right? Like I, if you're doing stuff and you can't see yourself doing this stuff in the next year, then you shouldn't be doing all the things. Do the things that you can do and will move your business forward, right? So if you're a high, want the high speed freight train, you're going to have to do a lot more and your work hours are going to have to be extended. If that doesn't work for you, cut it down, right? But the train might not go as fast. Be okay with that, right? It's a balance. So um, you want like your pace to be the same. Like for instance, like on like, you know, people have like the beginning of the month and a month end, sometimes month end can be a little bit stressful for people in certain areas, like in certain jobs, you want to be consistent enough that your day one and your day 30 or day 31 is the same, right? The same pace. All right. So, um, so like I said, set work hours, super, super important. Respect that time, respect your family time put down the phone, <laughs> detach from the outcome, right? Work-life balance. Um, so, and, and I'm not saying that there aren't times to push because there definitely are, right? But 
when it's time you need to kind of like come together, especially if it's like a rank related thing, you want to come together like with your team and it's like a movement, right? You don't want to do these like all the time. Um, you want your team to be like invested with that. All right. So, um, so long-term sustainable success with less turnover is, or should be the goal, right? <laughs> Drop the hustle and choose the long game. So really remove the scarcity and have purpose, right? Lots of purpose, um, energy, focus, um, consistency, have your systems in place and believe, all right? And like I always say, your business should be fun like Friday night, but easy like Sunday morning, easy like Sunday morning. All right, guys, enjoy.